Well, the legacy of much-loved yachty Sir Peter Blake lives on in the awards that carry his name and recognise the country's leaders. It also lives on in his children, who are in Auckland for the presentation of the awards tomorrow. Sarah Jane and James Blake join us now. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good, morning. Good to have Good you here. And we talk about your, the, the sailing legacy, and you have spent a lot of time on Lion um, in the past year. Yeah, a lot of time. Uh, <laughs> well, are you, does that mean you're a sailor? Are you a sailor? Um, no, I mean, I grew up on boats. Mm. Um, I feel very, very happy and at home on boats, and especially Lion, because I was on Lion when I was two years old, sailing from um, New Zealand to England. Do you remember and, that at all? You're too um, young. No, I have a vague... My vague first memory is from that time, but... And I asked my mother, and she confirmed it's true, but... Um, yeah, I felt really comfortable. Um, my friend Alistair, who's now my fiance, asked <laughs> me. Special friend. Yeah, special friend asked me to come and uh, do a race on her when I just arrived here last May. And I said, yeah, why not? I'd love the challenge to do that. And um, kind of quite enjoyed it, actually. <laughs> Got carried away. So you kept doing it. But, yeah. You're addicted. Obviously, yeah. there's that connection. I know that you're very artistic, like your mum as well. Yeah. Um, and James, you're studying natural history um, documentary making, which um, seems so appropriate as well. Yeah, well, it's just a master's down at uh, Targa Uni. Um, and I think, yeah, having a father as an explorer and then a mother as an artist, I seem to have landed kind of in the middle Being of in that, the middle. my passion seemed to lie on the side, so it's, yeah, it's a pretty cool thing to be doing. I know you've just been filming Tiger Sharks. Are you sort of leaning towards water-based natural history documentary? Um, it's uh, not not uh, at the moment, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I love getting in the water, and any filming I can do underwater, then, um, mm. yeah, it's been pretty good fun. <laughs> mm. Obviously, the Leadership Awards are on Friday night, you're both involved. Um, do you think of your dad, do, when you think of him, do you think that he was, um, I guess, do you, did you know at the time he was a great leader? Did you notice that you were his kids, so you yeah. sort of see your dad in a different light, don't you? Yeah, I mean, life was just normal to us, even though it was totally extraordinary. Um, probably this last year I've spent a lot of time, because I've spent time here, really looking back at his life, mm. and I've kind of been blown away again, just thinking of what he did. Um, but I think there were certain things I thought he was pretty special. Um, and when I got older, I realised uh, he was doing amazing things. Mm. Um, and he had great people following him and a lot of good friends. And I think that side of his leadership um, was uh, obvious to us. But, yeah, he's still just our dad. So. What, what, how do people react, James, when they find out who your dad, dad was? Um... So, oh, I mean, it's all a great thing now. Everyone's been really nice. Mm. Um, so it's quite, it's quite a funny thing, I think, for people to find out. But um, it's quite weird for us because, I mean, he's just our father. So it doesn't, it didn't, it doesn't seem like anything too special. Mm. But then you look at his life, and I think especially growing up and now that we're a little bit older, you can see what he kind of stood for and what he did for the country. So it's... Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool to see. And I mean, we're also familiar of the, of the shots of your father, and of course, of the two of you when you were, when you were much younger. Yeah. Um, would he be um, incredibly proud of how the leadership awards, of how the leadership week has taken off now? Yeah, I think he was. I mean, each, it, I think he would be. Each year it's escalated hugely, and just the calibre of the leaders that are coming through mm. with the awards, um, they're doing great things, they're following good business practices. And, um, yeah, I think he would be proud of it and just keeping his story alive. Mm. And I think that's the most important thing, really. Mm. And you've got with you something that, of course, was such a, a part of his yeah. story that we will yeah. all remember. So here's um, some red socks. And it's Red Socks Day on the 2nd of July. And these are for your daughters. Thank you. They will love them. <laughs> no problem. That is and there's wonderful. a couple here for Paul and you. That's thank great. You. Well, thank you both so much for coming. It was lovely to catch up with you. Uh, Sarah Jane and James. Brilliant. Thank you very much for coming. I wonder what Sir Peter Blake would have thought of the International Whaling Commissioners and Organisation. No. I wonder.